What's up guys, Naresh here and you are watching Naresh Television. It become more or less like a coincidence that every Saturday I've been reviewing a dash camera. So why not have a dash cam video reviews on every Saturday onwards. Now today I got my hands on this Crossdoor CR900 dash cam system which is front and rear full HD 1080p dash cam system. Now both front as well as rear camera are full HD at 170 degree wide angle lens. So you're going to cover quite a lot. The camera system is also equipped with the HDR feature which will make sure your video quality is crisp and clear. Also got the standard feature of motion detection as well as the G sensor which will make sure in case of any accident happen it will lock the footage on your camera system. Now there are so many things you wanted to know about this camera system. There are quite many I have put in this video and some of them are also available in the video description. So as the link from where you can get this camera system. So first let's go ahead and have a look what we have in the box. Following with the camera menu I will also show you daytime as well as nighttime recording. And to conclude with explaining to you what I think about this camera system too. So let's open up. It includes one multi-language supporting user manual, one camera charger with the USB port, one mini USB cable for data transfer, one camera reset pin, one camera front mount along with some heavy duty extra adhesive, 5 meter mini USB cable for rear camera, one full HD rear camera with mini USB port with the up and down adjustment. Now in last but not least we have our cross tour CR900 dash cam. In the front of the camera you have a 3 inch display and in the base of it air vents. Now all the important ports of the camera are available on the top starting with the USB port for the charging, GPS antenna then you have a rear camera port. Now the camera lens is fully flexible from up and down as well as left and right motion. On top of camera we have slot for camera holder. Now on the left hand side of this camera you have a micro SD card slot which supports up to 64 gigabyte of card then two up and down navigational button and middle menu button. Now on the right hand side all the buttons which are available are well defined starting with the OK mode button, lock button, power on and off button and the reset pin. Now as soon camera get powered it will start recording. Once it's recording you cannot access the menu. To access the menu you have to stop recording by pressing the OK button here. Now, to access the menu click on to this menu button this side. Now, Menu system is divided into two parts. If you click it once, here you will have a video mode where you can select the resolution, display mode, dual recording, loop recording. We got another option for the mirror image, HDR option, GPS stamp if you have got a GPS module fitted in there. Then you have exposure as well. You can manually set it. Motion detection if you would like to park this park, if you'd like to turn on the parking option on, audio on and off, Time and date stamp G sensor is also there which will help you in terms of if there's any accident happen it will lock the footage in your camera. Now if you click the menu again you're going to see the another journal setting tab where to start with you have a date and time setting, beep sound, language, screen saver, time zone, frequency, car license plate, format your SD card, then you have a default setting button fatigue driver snooze alarm as well if you're driving your car for a long time obviously the camera will detect it will beep for you to stop and stuff like that once the rear camera is connected you're going to have a picture in picture mode operation now if you don't like this operation it's very easy to deselect by just simply going into the menu area and scroll down into the display mode press ok you can select picture in picture or only front camera or the rear camera whatever you like. Well so far camera seems to be a very decent in build quality. Let's have a look into the daytime of recording of front as well as the rear camera.
data and footage looks crispy and clear. You might have noticed that it's a little bit darker in color, but don't need to worry about it. You have got the option for the exposure, which you can add more if you want to. Now let's have a look into the night time recording. Well now you have seen this all, daytime as well as the nighttime recording. Now let me tell you what I think about this camera system from my own personal opinion. The video recording I quite liked it, it's a little bit dark but I can play with it, it increased exposure works fine for me. Now there was two different problems which I have noticed. First one was my DAB radio signal was keep losing after installing this camera. I couldn't put it on video that's I'm sorry for that but the second one which I was having issue with my car fob let me show you what I was having issues with by using the fob you can open up your car right now once the camera system is up and running both front and the rear now when you are leaving the car I can't really turn it off actually as you can see that I keep pressing it I have to come near to the car and then it works only and a time to time I can't even start this guy you can see that right there see this is an alarm you normally get actually okay so now I have to perform all the cycles again or just simply take the power off to this camera system and it's shut down now completely there you go started working without any problem start it well, there is a possibility it's only happening on my car fob. It might not happen on yours. So that will be all guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope I have shown you enough about this camera system for you to make a call that do you really want this camera or not. 
if you still have any reservation about this camera please write in the, in the comment section below i'll be happy to help you with that as well so on that note guys thank you very much for being there for me and shall see you soon into another video bye